this is the mark report on www.seafishingmarks.co.uk for Porthton Line. Um, you can see here uh, the Porthton Line is actually a picture of it there. Look, coming up on the web page. Uh, that's the Teacock Inn. Okay, so it, it's kind of a, a sticky out peninsula, really, uh, just like that. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on the web page for it. You've got the lifeboat station there. Um, and you can see the outcrops there that we, we talked about earlier. Um, so, yeah, head over to the website if you want to know some more details about it. Um, good summer uh, venue, this one. Late summer's quite good. Uh, mackerel, pollock, wrasse and bass. In the winter, you may well get whiting, codling. There's definitely a chance of strapped conger as well. And um, rigs, keep them simple. Her pulley rigs, four ounce leads. Use the grips and spread the grips out as well to stop them falling through the little cracks. Fresh mackerel is really good. And of course, your lures for your pollock and the occasional cold fish in winter. Um, I've come onto this really to show you about the parking and walking. Um, there's three options. You can park at the golf club. Uh, you do risk a clamp there as well. The locals seem to get away with it. However, uh, there is an alternative car park at the bottom of the road where you walk up past the golf club um, onto that little peninsula. Or you can actually walk from this car park to the beach and follow the beach round. So you keep the sea on your right and the uh, grass and there to your left and you'll find your way down to the mark so it is a little bit of a walk unless you were to park at the um, golf club um, there's accommodation at the teacock in there i'll just show you on the page so you could always um, park there if you obviously got accommodation on that that section there okay so head over to the website um, it's on Porthton incline it's also You'll find that on the search engine or you can use the interactive map there that I'm looking at. Um, it's a nice hard fighting Pollock there for a young chap, Dylan Lingard. That was caught on a spinner. And uh, Jake Lingard there showing off his Pollock. So it is suitable for children but not everywhere along the rocks. You need to pick your marks for the kids as well. There's an even bigger one there. Oh, it looks like mum, Vicky Lingard. Three and a half pounder. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, in terms of summer species, you're looking at mackerel, pollock, wrasse, uh, occasionally bass further in towards the beach when there's a bit of a surf running. In the winter, you'll catch whiting, codling, and strap conger. August and September tend to be the best months and keep the rigs really simple if you're using bait. Single hook pulley rigs, four ounce leads, something like a 2.0. Uh, distance casting might get you some surprise um, catches. There's been turbot caught here, for example. Um, can be a really good mackerel mark, although they haven't been showing here in June. Um, may have to wait till July or August for the mackerel, uh, if recent years are anything to go by. Okay, also it's a good uh, light rock fishing mark as well. So for all those mini species, have a look at light rock fishing. Um, particularly good especially for the kids as well so do pick and choose the exact marks you fish on uh, along this small bit of peninsula so yeah that's the website page on it anyway if you wanted to have a look in a little bit more detail uh, I think there's a few comments there as well Porthton Fine there it is Okay, so uh, I'm just going to take you back a little bit and have a look at the parking. You see where um, the hand is there. That's the parking spot. <clears throat> so you come down to Port Incline. This is a road up here to the golf course. You park in this section here. Uh, you can walk down to the beach uh, through the that wooded area there. Or alternatively, you can walk up past the golf club. So if you were to walk down to the beach, you need to keep the beach to your right-hand side and you need to keep an eye out for the tide there as well so when you walk down <clears throat> to reach the fishing mark which is zoom back out again uh, up here uh, there's a few little pinch points there where you might get cut off by the tide um, particularly here around these rocks so the mark itself then uh, when you come here this is the uh, tea teacock inn uh, there's a little pub on the beach beautiful place um, 
the marks really start around this corner here. Um, you'll find all your mini species in here, possibly bass as well. Certainly small pollock in around these rocks here. Um, but it's still relatively shallow. So there's weed and there's kelp uh, fish hiding features all around here. Um, it's been a little bit more interesting when you get to the end really, uh, despite the seal population that's there. Um, casts out from the end here, uh, right on the point. Let me just zoom out again. There's a there's a mark here where that hand's moving across. So distance casts here can put you into some really deep water. There's channels there where bigger fish are, bull hus and tope. Um, or you can try your luck with spinning uh, very, very snaggy here. There's a little shelf actually that runs down there. Uh, and there's another one about there as well where you'll actually catch the fish, particularly the pollock, if you're lure fishing uh, they tend to take it right on this little dip here so there is sand further out but around here is really rocky and snaggy and you can see the paths uh, leading to these rock marks, they're not ideal for kids um, or clumsy anglers either actually um, but any of those little rock marks there will put you amongst the fish this one being the one with the most space, watch out for the swells, it's horrendous there at times. You need to be right back from the um, water uh, for there and really cautious when landing fish as well. So you've got the two sides there, if you see there, um, if I zoom back out again, you can see how you could be offered some shelter uh, either size, sides of that peninsula. Access is a lot more difficult down here. Um, it's steeper, uh, you can almost pick it out there on the map. Uh, so I would say if you're going for the first time, head for the end there. Uh, and you've also got on the other side, uh, it's a fair old walk and it's not the easiest access either, but you've got this beach here that puts you in, in amongst that um, kelp beds there as well. Um, I've seen spear fishermen here, so there's obviously fish here. This is shallower water. Um, it's quite an interesting, if you've got a kayak as well, there's some interesting larger boulders and rocks to fish in and around for the bass when there's a bit of a surf running. But your main quarry really will be the pollock there. So that's Porthlin Line. Give it a go. Um, let us know how you get on on the website. That'd be fantastic. It really is a lovely little uh, mark there, particularly uh, in summer, I think, uh, where you can get uh, travel light, get off the main tracks and um, find your own little spot to fish. Thank you.